He used to be able to go into the wine store and pick up a bottle for $15 to $20 and be pretty happy with it. Now the market is so saturated with random animals being placed on bottles and hundreds and hundreds of those bottles in that price range sitting around. If you don't know what you're about to buy, you could be in for a bad surprise. St. Francis is a name to look out for in a good way. They produce really good value-priced wines that taste good. 2011 Sonoma County Chardonnay, very, very good. Not an over-the-top oaky or buttery Chardonnay. It's actually very, very fruity. Apple, some citrus in there. A very, very refreshing Chardonnay. And it retails for right around $15. Great bottle. 2009 Sonoma County Port. Oh yes, this one has been a great end to some very stressful days for me. Get a little chocolate on the side, a little glass of port. You almost wish you had a more stressful day by the time you get there because it gives you an excuse to have a second glass of the stuff. It is a wonderful port and it tastes like, like you, a port should. It's not overly brandied uh, or fortified or, uh, or overly fruity. Just a nice balance there. You get the richness, you get that, that syrupiness. You can just sit there and sip on slowly and really uh, enjoy with the chocolate or two. Retails for about 38 bucks, very much worth it. It's a good pour. Sometimes it's good to have friends in other places like other vineyards. Their 2010 Zinfandel, which has grapes that come from Monticello Vineyards, is really, really stunning. It's like a good mole. You know, moles, uh, they, they sometimes have 50 to 100 ingredients in them. That is a lot like this Zin. Lots of flavors in there, nutmeg, anise, cinnamon, dark berry, the list goes on and on and on. And it really is complex, really well balanced, really flavorful. It's a great Zin and a good value, right around $15. More great value price wines to add to our list of the must-try wines for 2013 from St. Francis. Check them out.